So, Angelo is broken right now inside of the game, and I can guarantee that not many of you know how to play him properly. With this video, I'm going to change that and provide you with the necessary tips and tricks to be able to master him and push him to high ranks. Without further ado, let's begin. Let's take a look at his overall build. Angelo's trait gives him a unique mobility advantage, allowing him to traverse water on maps, providing strategic positioning opportunities and escape routes. Angelo's main attack is a long-ranged arrow that charges up for increased damage. The attack can be held to charge for up to 2.5 seconds, maximizing damage. The thing is, you can charge up his attack forever. A quick tap releases a weaker shot, while a fully charged shot deals significant damage. Charging the attack also charges Angelo's super. It's important to note that charging the attack cancels auto regeneration and can be interrupted by knockbacks or stuns, or even pulls. With his super, Angelo creates a poison cloud that lasts for 8 seconds, damaging enemies standing in the area. While in the cloud, Angelo's arrows become poisoned, dealing additional damage over time for 3 seconds. The super is effective for area denial, controlling choke points and enhancing Angelo's damage output. His first gadget stinging flight provides significant utility by allowing Angelo to jump forward, dealing damage and healing if near enemies. This gadget offers excellent mobility, making it useful for both offensive and defensive situations. It can be used to cross obstacles, escape from dangerous situations, or surprise enemies. The brief period of invulnerability while in the air also helps to avoid certain attacks, making it a versatile and valuable tool in Angelo's build. His second gadget, Monster Fletcher, allows Angelo's next attack to pierce through enemies and the environment. This can be highly effective in situations where enemies are clustered together or hiding behind walls. It increases Angelo's ability to hit multiple targets and deal consistent damage through obstacles. However, its effectiveness is situational, depending on the map and enemy positioning. It's especially useful in maps with narrow corridors or when facing teams that group up. His first star power, M Power, significantly boosts Angelo's survivability by healing him for 600 HP per second for 8 seconds while standing in his super's area. This star power allows Angelo to sustain longer in fights and maintain pressure on enemies. It's particularly useful in modes and situations where controlling a specific area is crucial. The healing can accumulate to a substantial amount over the super's duration, making it a strong choice for prolonged engagements and area control. His second star power, Flow, increases Angelo's movement speed by 25% when he moves on water. This star power enhances Angelo's mobility on specific maps with water features, allowing him to maneuver quickly and surprise enemies. While the speed boost is beneficial for repositioning and dodging attacks, its effectiveness is limited to maps with significant water areas. On maps without water, this star power offers no advantage, making it less versatile compared to M Power. With that said, his best build would be his stinging flight gadget and M Power star power. This gadget allows Angelo to jump forward, damaging and healing upon takeoff if near enemies. It provides excellent mobility, allowing him to cross obstacles, escape danger, or initiate surprise attacks. The brief invulnerability during the jump can also avoid lethal damage or stuns. Staying inside the super's area also heals Angelo for 600 health per second, enhancing his survivability Bruh. and allowing for aggressive playstyles. This healing is significant over the 8 second duration of his super, providing up to 4800 HP. The best gears for him would be the extra gadget gear and damage. The extra gadget gear provides additional uses of Angelo's gadgets, increasing his mobility and survivability. More uses of his stinging flight gadget offer more opportunities for escape, positioning, or damage. The damage gear increases Angelo's damage output, especially useful for maximizing the damage of his charged shots and poisoned arrows during his super. This makes Angelo more effective at eliminating low to mid health enemies quickly.
Let's now take a look at his hypercharge. Angelo recently got one and during this hypercharge, Angelo's poison cloud from his super follows him, increasing its effectiveness by continuously damaging enemies in range. The hypercharge also grants Angelo speed, damage and shield buffs. This combination of increased damage and mobility makes Angelo a formidable force, allowing him to pressure enemies and control the battlefield effectively. His best game modes would be Wipeout and Knockout. Reason being is that Angelo excels in Wipeout due to his long range attack and area control with his super. He can effectively chip away at enemies, retreat to heal, and use his trait to reposition quickly. His hypercharger's mobile position cloud can be devastating in this mode, especially in confined areas. Knockout rewards careful positioning and elimination of enemies. Angelo's ability to outrange many brawlers combined with his super's area denial makes him strong in this mode. His mobility from stinging flight and his water walking trait allow him to make unexpected plays and escape danger. Let's now talk about how well he matches up with each brawler class. So he matches up relatively good against the support class as he can easily outrange and outdamage most support brawlers who typically have low to mid health and low damage. Exceptions include Tug and Pam who have higher health and can sustain longer in fights. With controllers, his ability to match up against them is sort of in the middle. Controllers vary widely in their abilities. Angelo can struggle against heavy damage controllers and spawners, but can perform well against others like Gene and Sandy. His effectiveness largely depends on the specific controller matchup. Regarding tanks, he matches up horribly against them, as tanks have high health, making them difficult for Angelo to eliminate without support. His damage output is not sufficient to deal with tanks effectively and they can easily pressure him. With assassins, it's also in the middle as well as the matchups also vary. He struggles against high health assassins like Sam, Buzz and Fang, but can handle others with lower health. His stinging flight gadget can help escape ambushes. Regarding damage dealers, it's also in the middle. Like controllers, damage dealers are also a broad category. Angelo's success depends on the specific brawler. His range can help keep the distance, but he may struggle in close combat situations. Regarding artillery, he is really good against them, as his range and mobility give him an advantage against low health artillery brawlers. He can dodge their attacks and quickly eliminate them, making him a strong counter. Regarding marksmen, he is amazing against them, because his mobility and long range attack make him highly effective against marksmen who typically have low health and rely on precise shots. Angelo can dodge their attacks and pressure them with his own. I'll now share some necessary tips and tricks that you can use to maximize your playing experience with Angelo. While Angelo's attack deals maximum damage when fully charged, charging to around 70% is often enough to deal significant damage without the risk of overexposing yourself. This can be especially useful in quick matchups. Use his super for area control and healing, as his super can deny areas to enemies and make him heal with the M power star power. Use it strategically to control choke points or objective areas. Next, leverage his water mobility. Utilize his trait to move over water and surprise enemies, escape or reposition. This can be a key advantage on maps with water features. Next, you could use his stinging flight gadget for escape and engagement. Angelo's gadget can be used both defensively and offensively. Use it to escape danger across obstacles or surprise enemies with a sudden jump and attack. Make sure you also time your hypercharge. Activate your hypercharge when you can maximize its benefits, such as during a team fight or when pushing enemies back. The mobile poison cloud can turn the tide of the battle. So, with all of this information in mind, let's hope you can use these tips to benefit yourself when playing Angelo and master him as a brawler. So in that case, hopefully you all enjoyed today's video. Consider liking and subscribing if you also enjoyed this video. Comment down below what rank your Angelo is at right now as well in the comments below. Follow my socials and join my Discord server. And in that case, see you guys next time. Peace. I